Right, we're hearing from concerned residents after a shootout between a suspect and police. This all unfolded overnight in Hampton. News 3's Kelsey Jones went to the scene where this all happened and talked with eyewitnesses. It all happened here on Woodland Road around 1 a.m. where a car crashed here at this utility pole that ended with gunfire right in front of a family's home. You can actually still see pieces of the car crash laying on the ground. I spoke with that family who tells me they instantly called for help. The car wouldn't move. They were trying to help push the car back so it could move, but it wouldn't move. So then I figured to call out the police. Chaos unfolding on a narrow two way street. A single vehicle car crash happened just a few feet away from Anna Dubon's home. I woke us up at 1 a.m. literally with this loud boom sound and the dog barking. This all led her to instantly call 911. I have seen a young, a young person with a baseball cap walking behind my yard. And I was like, wait a minute, what's, where are they going? So I didn't figure out, I didn't bother much, but I called the police officers to come out and see what was going on. Then we ended up hearing uh, like eight gunshots in total. When police got to the scene for the crash, officers say they went to the car to try and help those who were inside. But that's when police tell us a man with a gun got out of the car and tried to run. He was bleeding from his head, so we were concerned about any type of head injuries. And the man, I don't know his name, reached into his car and pulled out a gun, and the officer had asked him to put it down. Officers say the man then started shooting at police. An officer shot back. According to police, the man and an officer were hit and were taken to the hospital. When the gunshots were flying, were you concerned for your kid's safety? Yes, I was. Luckily, no, no gunshot fired into the house. I am thankful for that. Police say there is no threat to the public, but Dubon is hoping for a speedy recovery for the officer injured. In Hampton, I'm Kelsey Jones, News 3.